Hi, this is Eric with the Western New York Land Conservancy. And we are out at the College Lodge Forest in Chautauqua County, New York today. Let's take a look at some of the early spring wildflowers that you'd find out here or other places in Western New York that you might go to take a hike. Here's one of our most distinctive and well-known spring wildflowers, which goes by many names. Red Trillium, Wake Robin, Stinking Benjamin, that last name, Stinking Benjamin, alludes to one of its more interesting traits. In order to attract the earliest pollinators available in spring, most of which are flies, it makes a smell not like a pleasant flower, but more like rotting meat. You can see that Trillium is the perfect name for this group of plants, with three petals, three sepals behind those petals, and three leaves arranged in a whorl around the stem. Our tiniest and I think most adorable early spring wildflower is commonly known as early yellow violet. However, Land Conservancy staphylologist Priscilla Titus recently started calling these right on time yellow violet, and I think that is pretty much perfect. This might be the most alien of all of our early spring wildflowers, blue cohosh, named for the blue hue of its flowers, its stalks, and its leaves opens its flowers, which you can see are sort of a burgundy color, long before its leaves unfurl. And it's one of the first things that you see in the spring coming out of the ground. These striking yellow wildflowers sure are beautiful, but if something about them seems fishy to you, you're not alone. The common name for this species is trout lily, which comes from the red speckling on its leaves, which is said to look like brook trout. This is my favorite of our spring violets. This is Canada violet, Viola canadensis, and its flowers are white in the front, but it's the backs of the petals that have this subtle purple color that really makes them stand out to me. You can tell this apart from other white violets by the fact that it has a stem that the leaves come from, instead of all of the leaves and the flowering stems kind of arising from a central point at the ground. These bright yellow flowers with big round leaves are marsh marigold, Caltha palustris. Marsh marigold really fills in a lot of the wet areas here at the College Lodge. Large white trillium gets started a little bit later than red trillium, but it certainly puts on a show. Once again, like all trilliums, we have three petals, three sepals, and three leaves. Spring ephemerals like dwarf ginseng and all these white trilliums you can see behind are important sources of pollen for our earliest spring pollinators. Spring ephemerals have a life cycle timed to let them flower, get pollinated, and set seed all before the leaves come onto the trees and shade out the forest floor.